Welcome back to our YouTube channel. We just went shopping. Hey, guess what? It's spooky season. This is my favorite season of all time. And with Halloween right around the corner, I was actually gonna go and buy some decorations for my house. But then I figured, let me go get some decorations for this guy. In here I have Bandit, my little leopard gecko. And I wanted to do something really cool because this tank really needs a, a makeover. And I figured, let me decorate it with Halloween themed stuff. But I thought I'd do something pretty cool. I really wanted to take my leopard gecko on the ride with me. If you look behind me, this is actually the product of the last video that we made. We aquascaped Finley's tank, and as you can see, he's loving it. Come on, buddy. I think we're ready now. I don't think anybody's gonna know. It looks just like the design, so I think we're good. So we're in the car right now. Don't worry, we're not driving. So I'm going to the pet store right now to try to see if I can find him a little small pet carrier to take him around, because I don't really want him loose everywhere. As you can see, he's kind of crazy. Where are you going? Right, we made it to Petco. Let me see what carriers they have. Should have some small animal ones, like for like the gerbils and all that good stuff. Might have to ask. I don't know where they are. So far, I've only found this, but I don't know. It might be okay. It might be too small. I'm still gonna be looking around to see what I can find. <laughs> I just scared this family in and uh, the mom especially <laughs> with this little guy just walked by. She got so scared. We actually couldn't find the carrier that we're looking for. We only found this one, but I think it's too small. But we did find this thing. It's like a little leash for him. Also might be too big, but I don't know if he's gonna like it. I got it fits. I'm taking it. He's so cool, look at him. the second store and it was super busy in there so I really didn't get to film but we got a little little thing for him look at him he just walked in as soon as I, I, I got it and I opened it he just I think he's tired ready store one and he's exhausted now that he's situated we can go shopping You know I made it to Bass Pro. <laughs> so cool. So we're back and he's in his enclosure. We cleared it all out, cleaned everything. And before we get started, I wanted to talk about this. So this is the little carrier that we bought. And honestly, I love this thing. It wasn't that expensive. And he felt really comfortable in here because it was nice and dark. I highly recommend it. I think it's from the guinea pig section and it works for reptiles. Next thing I wanted to talk about was a little harness. It wraps around his body really nicely. I loved it. He hated it, but I loved it because there was a few times that he actually tried jumping away from me, but this didn't allow him to, to ever escape. I was actually able to, to hold on to him and make sure he didn't fall and hurt himself. So I highly recommend this, even though he's not a fan. These are the tiles that we've always used for him. We actually got these at Lowe's and I really like the color of them and I think they work perfect for Halloween as well. Fun fact about leopard geckos is that they always use the bathroom in the same spot. For him, it just so happens to be this back corner here and that makes it very easy to clean and especially since I have tile, it's just taking the tile out, cleaning it and putting it back. Let's start with what I got for his hide. It's this big ceramic container that I don't exactly know what people use it for. I think people put cookies in it. I don't know why you would have cookies out and about like that, but I don't know. So let's see if he likes it. I'm gonna put it on this side. This I've had as his background before, and I kind of like having like a lot of plant themes in his enclosure. So I'm just gonna add this back in. Oops, sorry, buddy. So the next thing we got was, let's do a oh, pumpkin. We'll put that right there. The next thing I'm gonna put in here is this little sign that I got that says, hello pumpkin. So this, go right up here right in front so let's do this one so this one says autumn leaves and pumpkins please so we'll put this one right here we're gonna use this next sign that says pumpkin pie baked fresh daily here you're gonna try to use it to climb the last sign that we have 
is it says welcome to our pumpkin patch. All right, let's put this right here. Look at this. Do you see this? It's climbing. Well, the next thing I got was these two little, I think they're cat toys, but one says trick and one says treat. So I wanted to see which one she was going to go for. And I have a feeling it's going to be this one. Oh my God. You're ridiculous. The ultimate test. Trick or treat? Yeah. I think she made up her answer right there. As expected. We're going to put these on either side. The next thing we got is this little ghost. And the reason why I like it is because it lights up. And I wanted like a cool little rave experience for her. All right, that's it. Let me know what you guys think of Bandit's Halloween enclosure. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want to see more fun videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you love leopard geckos like me, make sure to check out the leopard gecko design on our website at tankleopardapparel.com. It matches mine perfectly. I hope it matches yours. Bye.